Hey everybody, this is uh, Auto Layouts. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make some buttons. So uh, the simplest way to do this and what I would definitely recommend is don't make a rectangle. Don't start with a background object, right? Just use text. So uh, if your buttons use text, we're talking specifically about text buttons where you may or may not have a background. So let's say this is a button and we're going to group that. We're going to make it an auto layout. We are going to put it in the middle. We're going to say that it has a margin of or padding of uh, four and it's got corners of four. And I know you can't really see anything yet, but if you click full, you're going to see that it's got a lovely little corner here. Um, if I had picked a color that was not insane there you go cool so there's a button it is an auto layout uh, we can test it we can test if it works by duplicating it or as I prefer to do make a component copy it and then test out if the auto layout is working cool it seems to be working so now what if we want to say that our buttons have a fixed width right in that case, I wouldn't recommend auto layout. There's no need for it um, in most of those cases. The only other case where I would say you would need auto layout for a button is if you had multiple objects within your button. So if you've got a little circle over here, you want to take that, drag it into your auto layout, and you want to maybe just adjust the padding on this, the internal in between space padding. We can say there's going to be four pixels in between. That's really the only other place where I would say it kind of makes sense to do to do auto layout in buttons. Fairly, fairly simple. One or two objects at most. And the auto layout here is not incredibly complex, right? It's either um, one or two items, not 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 crazy. Now let's let's try and do this one, right? So so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with uh, some blah blah. I make very silly blah blah I do apologize why am I doing enters that's a terrible idea you should never do enters you should do that then take this as you can see right now it is auto width we want it to be fixed width which is usually sorry auto height which is usually pressing this button but if you just change the height if you change the width it creates auto height it changes it to be auto height you cannot have a button of a particular you cannot have a paragraph of a particular width and say it must be auto width. As soon as you try and adjust it, it says this is a fixed width or auto height. Cool. So let's just clean this up so we look fairly half decent. Okay. Now let us make this headline. Ooh, let's make this headline. So it's a headline called headline. Very creative. Uh, we're going to make a little ball. I'm not recreating this thing. I'm just going to make a ball. And I mean, I could. I did it just now, but I just don't. Uh, I'm just copy it. Is that okay? I'm just going to copy it. Oh, okay. Here it is. Right. We've got this little, this little duty over here. Uh, let me make the background a bit darker so that we can see what we're doing. And let's make all of these white. All right, then what we're gonna do, now what we have here is we have three individual objects, right? Let me just bring them to the top so we can see a little family photo. So we've got a headline, we've got this paragraph text, and we've got this icon, okay? Uh, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, we're gonna group them. We are going to put them in an order layout, then we're gonna take these two so we've got this group which includes both the headline and the icon in this thing called frame six and we've got this thing we're going to take these two items here and we're going to make an order layout for them then you'll see there's 33 pixels of space between as it says here that's because that was the space that it had when we started but that's crazy and no one would ever do that so let's rather do that right so we're going to have eight pixels and the space between these two items was also sort of predefined based on what we had 
when we started. So we're going to say it's four pixels. Then this frame seven, we're going to say we're going to have a full. That full is going to be like something like that. And we're going to put in a padding, let's say 16. 16 padding. Yeah, that looks pretty OK. Um, all right, so this has fixed width or auto height. This one has fixed width or auto height. And that's great because what that means is that if I make this a component, I copy it over and I start playing with it. If I have a long, long headline, it doesn't really mess anything up. It kind of just sort of works. Although I would like it to be bold. So that's nice. Uh, all right. And that is basically it for the um, for the notes component. So the note component is something that I use when I want to say something in particular to um, a developer or a colleague or a stakeholder to kind of say, hey, pay attention to this thing. You should know X, Y, and Z about this. Um, it's good to use colors that are not within your brand's uh, components. So I'm working on a very red brand right now. So I probably use blue or something like that. Um, yeah. Cool. So that's the note component. Now this one, this is the big, the big one. We're going to play with some interesting concepts. Everything we've sort of learnt up until now, right? One thing I do want to mention here is, if this item was not in a, if this item here was not in its own auto layout that was giving it this uh, horizontal direction, what it would do? Let's ungroup and see what it does. It's just going to put it one underneath each other, right? And that's a very common thing. So if, so if we were to say, well, we've got this, you know, we've got this block. This block is going to be like this uh, yellow color, uh, and there's going to be a circle within it. And we're going to make it a little archy thing because it's interesting. Uh, we're going to make this a component. Ding, 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 ding. All right, then we're going to drag, we're going to copy that, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate until we have a whole bunch, right? If you were to create an auto layout with this, what would happen is, let's group it, let's auto layout. Ah, yes, it's all one big line. And if we were to go vertical, it's all one big line. So what we need to do, we're going to just make this a group. We're going to make an auto layout. That auto layout is going to detect that these items are in a horizontal thing. So it's going to automatically say horizontal. You can change it to vertical. So you've got it in either vertical or horizontal. We're going to say it's going to be in, let's go vertical this time. Uh, now let's duplicate this, duplicate duplicates and duplicates and then what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these we're going to group them we're going to put them in an auto layout and what that's going to do is that is going to give us this horizontal direction auto layout we're going to say it's four pixels in between and then we're going to hit enter so currently we're selecting this frame two we hit enter and all of these individual frames which each have their own uh, vertical auto layout are going to be selected and now we can see we've got vertical selected we've got nine as the space in between let's change that to four and there we go and now we have a wonderful way to uh, to manage an entire grid system uh, but we can do more than that so what we can do okay let's say we want different amounts in each uh, column over here but we want them to be the same size so what we can do then select frame two, hit enter, then you've got each column selected. What we're going to do is instead of saying hug contents, we're going to say it needs to be a fixed height. Then let's hit enter again and go to the individual component layer of each individual uh, box over here. And we're going to say instead of a fixed height and a fixed width, we're going to fill the container. So that means Look at the auto layout, look at what's around you and fill as much space as possible, right? So what that means is if I delete an item here, the rest of the items will grow and vice versa. If I 
were to copy and paste an item and I were to paste, 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 you'll see that they shrink and it all is just managed beautifully without you having to, you know, imagine having to sort of rework each one of these items and do maths and yeah, no, that's those those years are beyond us. Like that that time is that time has passed. So let's say lastly, because these things are getting squished over here, let's say this item needs to be centered and centered and let's make it a less boring color. And there we go. Lovely. Cool. So that is probably the most sort of essential aspect of auto layout is the ability to sort of add items, remove items, play with the, the styles and play with the, um, the settings of each of each different auto layout. There's a lot more to it, obviously, but that is really the essential, the essential piece. Uh, I hope you learned something here. I hope to help you in some way. Please leave a comment about what you would like to see next. I'm very, very keen to take, you know, direct uh, responses. I've only got a handful of people uh, looking at this channel. So if you write a response saying, I want to know about this thing, chances are I'll make that video. So yeah, let me know. And I hope you have a good day and work is just a little bit easier. All right, see you soon.